Hello, I'm Phil Archer, Deputy Director at Rinalda House. Each February, Rinalda joins with schools, libraries, and museums to usher in African American History Month with a read-in. This February, we're taking our observation of the National Read-In online, and I'd like to share my reading with you. It's from a speech by Frederick Douglass on pictures and progress. I was reminded of this speech last week uh, as I was moved by images of the first African-American vice president taking her seat as president of the U.S. Senate, and then of the first black Pentagon chief being sworn in. Frederick Douglass understood the power of imagery to expand the scope of the possible, as opposed to the often brutal facts of the present. And he recognized how his own image as a formerly enslaved man who became a leading orator and advisor to presidents could present an image of defiance and dignity, of overcoming hardship and underestimation to inspire young blacks, both free and enslaved. For that reason, he accepted every invitation to be photographed, making him the most photographed American of the 19th century. In 1861, in the midst of the Civil War, Douglas thought that the subject of pictures and progress was significant enough to provide, in that perilous hour, a way to hope for alter alternatives to division, civil war, slavery, inequity, and injustice. He said of the invention of photography that the humblest servant girl may now possess a picture of herself, such as the wealth of kings could not purchase 50 years ago. It is evident that the great cheapness and universality of pictures must exert a powerful, though silent, influence upon the ideas and sentiment of present and future generations. Douglas knew that paintings and photographs could feed and emancipate the aesthetic imagination. The whole soul of man, he said, the whole soul of man is a sort of picture gallery, a grand panorama with infinite potential for progress. His own experience of art underwrote this hope. Douglas determined to seek his freedom after he saw a simple painting of sailboats on the Chesapeake Bay, which he said he traced in his imagination sailing in full liberty out to the wide ocean and away from the southern states and the institution of slavery. He said, poets, prophets, and reformers are all picture makers, and this ability is the secret of their power and of their achievements. They see what ought to be by the reflection of what is and endeavor to remove the contradiction. We look forward to hearing your word pictures in poetry, fiction, memoir, whatever you choose. You inspire us with your willingness to share what has moved you. Thank you.